If you've been to an airport recently, you're probably aware that the TSA security lines are even longer than usual. And as we head into the busiest travel season of the year, it's only expected to get worse. So what is driving these long lines and what, if anything, can you do about it? Let's find out from Mark Rosenkar, CBS News national transportation safety expert and former chairman of the NTSB. Good morning. Good morning. I fear that it's always budget related, but is that, in fact, what's causing these long lines? That's certainly one of the issues. Another one is we're seeing significantly more travelers going through the system. And also, we've seen a significant amount of uh, terrorism activity with a focus on aviation. And then finally, the agency itself is trying to recover from some very bad grades it got last year when their inspector general was able to sneak by 95% of the time fake bombs and fake 95 percent of the time yeah. even the tsa's chief of operations said recently this is going to be a rough summer so i, I don't like to hear that but i mean are there going to be more agents on the on the lines they're trying to do that they're trying to get additional monies they're going to be able to hire 768 new agents they're going to try to get another 26 million dollars for overtime so that they can pay the agents already to be able to spend more time on the line what about what's happening in san francisco and kansas city international i mean they've realize there's a problem, they've looked to private firms. Could that be the future, just outsource it a little more? It's been an issue under debate. We just don't know if there is an improvement there. Remember that what caused the entire federalization, if you will, of security was uh, the 9-11 uh, accidents, the 9-11 uh, issues when in fact the entire system was under uh, private uh, contractors. So, Mark, if, if you're a traveler at this point, Mark, what, what should you do? I mean, besides, is there anything you can do besides getting there, you know, two or three hours early, which the airlines are now recommending? Well, there are a number of things that you might be able to do. One, you want to call your airline. Two, you want to see if the apps that you may be able to find on the Internet can find you uh, a, a continuous information and updates about how much time it's taking to get through the security system at the airport. What about TSA PreCheck? So many people have that now. Are you going to be fine if you have already opted into these programs? That is a program which is absolutely spectacular. Now, you do have to apply for it. You do have to spend $85. But once you get authorization, once you're cleared to use it, the lines are significantly uh, less populated. We're talking about people that you don't have to take your, your shoes off. You don't have to take your belt off. You don't have to take your jacket off. You don't have to take the electronics out of your briefcase. So you have a much more expedited security process. The same is true with global entry if you're traveling internationally, right? Absolutely. That too is a great program. If you get into global entry, you're automatically going to be in the TSA pre-check. I'm just curious, sometimes when you're at the airport though, that line is empty and they will funnel passengers from the regular check-in into that line. Are they going to end that program where you can't just move over? And well, no. What, what happens is, is if it's empty, totally empty, on the uh, fast pass, if you will. They're, they want to be able to make sure people will go through that process, but those people will have to take their shoes off. They will have to take out things from their uh, briefcase. Remember that this is a risk mitigation issue. If they know who you are, they don't have to spend as much time with you right. as for those that we don't know who they are. So bottom line, two hours, or you say even longer? Well, I certainly like to get to the airport anywhere between two hours or 90 minutes ahead of my flight. Ugh. Clearly, I want to do that if I'm going internationally. One more reason I want to fly private. Mark <laughs> Rosenker, thank you so much. Good to be with you.